Welcome back, survivors. I'm the survival this, and we return to Carnivore's Legacy. We're going to keep going after some of the uh, hopeful endemic animals. I just need to go into the settings, and we're going to change density back down to its default and see if that might help us with our odds of trying to find some of the uh, endemic animals or trophy ambience or whatever they're going to be called. We've gone through the Woods of Tarantrox. I did get word in the comments that there was only the Ornithomimus on that as a uh, trophy ambient or bonus animal. I don't know how many are on as matchy rocks. We did get the... Uh, I'm trying to remember what it was called. The Lazelle? Something like that. We got one of them, but there's definitely a second slot for them. So I'm going to see if I can try to get a second one there. And when it comes to weapons, we'll take everything out again. We'll take the double ammo. When it comes to the roster, I think maybe I'll go for... Uh, maybe we'll just do those three, because... I think we've got enough Triceratops, we've got the Aloes, we've got the Stegos. I think we've got enough to kind of fill up all of their dioramas or their trophy things in the trophy room. But I know these three we haven't really got, well, we haven't gotten any Iguanodons yet. So yeah, maybe we'll try this out, see what we can get, and again, try to go for some of the uh, bonus animals to see them. But everything looks good, so let's hop on into a new hunt for today. Okay, so we're loaded in here. Um, it's... Okay, it sounds like there's quite a bit around us. Like, there's the Moz Chops. There's, I think, a Gal... Okay, Pelican Mimus, Gal Mimus. But see, there's something weird sounding over this way. I have no idea what is making... Oh! Well, it looks like our odds might be improving, because we got a couple of Lazelle. Oh, interesting death animation for the lay zel or lay laps. That's it. I know I started with lay, but okay. Let's try again. Okay, so the good news is maybe setting the density back down to default did help us out a little bit in finding, uh, like that endemic or the new endemic animal. Ah. Oh. I heard it coming up, but I wasn't sure what it was. And I gotta get used to the weapon roster again, so we'll try again. Okay, we load into the map again. I turned off the expo just because I don't really think I'm going to use it all that much. And I've got to remember the shotgun and the revolvers are at 2 and 6, respectively. Just because... Again, when you first spawn in, you'll want something for self-defense just in case you do get unlucky with what you're spawning around. I still will admit I highly miss, like, just how the shotgun used... I shouldn't say used to behave, but how it was given its more spread pattern and felt more useful for short range and self-defense. Having it so that way it behaves like how it did in Carnivores 1, this kind of makes it feel like it lacks its own identity. Okay, well, we'll just slowly work our way through the map, see what we can find. And see if we can get a second, or well, another lay lapse that we actually survive the hunt and retrieve. I remember it started with lay, but I couldn't remember what, like, the last of it. Lazelle, lay lapse. But yeah, now that I know, we'll keep our eyes open for that. And just try to be more careful. I am surprised with the last spawn that I did... And the raptor got us, is that it spawned us basically on top of a mountain, and yet we were still vulnerable and something was right beside us on load. This goes to show you carnivores doesn't really give you any safe breathing room. It's all random chance on if you'll actually get that or not. But toggling down the density back to default will hopefully help us keep a bit better track of... Not having too many trophy animals spawned, but also giving us better odds of finding the endemics, too. So we gotta remember we're after another lay lapse, as well as just any of the other trophy animals I got selected from the roster. I do... I... Ooh. 
I am kind of torn when it comes to the Mortal Zones for uh, Legacy as a mod. There we go. Yeah, again. Shotgun feels more like a rifle because of the single shot uh, projectile type it uses. Well, there's an Iguanodon, so at least that's a completely new addition for the trophy room. But a lot of these mortal zones seem to be really precise compared to like how you might have had in some other Carnivores games. Like, the Rap Velociraptor, for instance, just the head makes sense for them. The Dilophosaurus, though, where it's like this little streak around the eyes and like the th uh, that weird throat spot there. These feel like things that are more precise and you want like a more precision-based weapon roster for, but be honest, I don't know if Legacy has that all that much. But we are still in the pretty early stages of the mod 2 and playing, so it might improve with some more time. I'm just going I'm not going to turn us in for our hunt yet. As much as we do have a new uh, dinosaur to our collection. Oh. I'm going to hold off on our return until I can maybe get like a few more. And that's a new one we've not seen before. A Majungatholus, but there's also a uh, Dilophosaurus around the area too. Okay, I might actually go back with this. It's like, that's the first time I've seen the Majungatholus on any of the hunts. Yeah, I'm going to do that. The Guandon's not the big, pro, big prize, but that Majungatholus is. Okay, we're spawned into a new hunt. It did throw us literally on top of the freaking mountain again. Okay, and this is way off. Okay, so this is the peak that it throws you up and onto to start. Actually, so this, this might even be a path where we can follow on our way down. But we've gotten two new additions already for the trophy room, which is a good start despite the multiple deaths so far. We'll see if we can get anything else. I still want to get one more lay laps if I can, just to fill that diorama out. As well as, we'll probably need to go for another Majunga Tholus. It feels like the trophy room has at least paired displays. It doesn't feel like there's one... I guess maybe the Trachodon or the Parasaurolophus. Some of them don't really have behaviors that look like they do have like that much of a vital pair for them. But there are certain ones like the Laylaps and... I guess maybe the Allosaurus is another one that looks like it's just kind of like posed to be filled properly with having two specimens there. Okay, not seeing anything so far, so we will... Go for a little bit of a jog. I did turn the expo back on. It's I don't think we'll use it all that much, to be honest, but... I figure we'll just bring the full weapon roster out. I don't think I've ever really run out of ammo on every single weapon ever in a carnivore's hunt, but... There are certain weapons that are definitely much more difficult to try using than others. And the expo is a notorious one. It might not be so bad if it was actually the most powerful weapon, but because it's not, it's hard to argue. I just heard like a crocodile hiss. Oh, that's not a crocodile. Okay, another Dilophosaurus, so if we can bring that back, that'll be a nice pair to round out that display. Oh, I think I... yeah, I sent Pelicanomimus running. And we'll keep going on our way. But yeah, I've... 
it might just be the age of carnivores, but it does make me wonder if the weapons could always be improved or honed in a little more. Like, if a weapon is very inaccurate and, like, it's not really that steady for its uh, accuracy or precision, maybe that one should be a bit more damage dealing to make up for that. Like, it's a gamble to use, but it, it can pay off and be rewarding to do so, rather than it's just a gamble to use and the payoff isn't exactly there. Well, basically got a little baby moss chops and a big boy moss chops. Okay. Oh. Yeah, so I might have another iguanodon we can tr get back for the trophy room. Okay, let's turn running off. You know what? I'm just going to do this reload now. It's going to waste the two shots, but I think it's more worth it to have a full cylinder ready to go with this. That is another thing that I wish could be figured out for carnivores, is a way to manually reload the weapons whenever you choose to. And that you don't have to clear out the ammunition, so that way you're basically wasting some bullets. Um, that's... Oh, okay, there is one of those little horseshoe crabs beside that guy, Mimus, there. I was trying to figure out that's why it was giving me that name display looking at that one. But that explains it. At least I think it does. Yeah, that little guy's the one that... Okay, just hear you guys Oh. There we go. And you know what? Just to emphasize my point, I'm just going to spend those to get that reloaded again. And I should be careful around the water. I still haven't actually spotted any of the uh, crocodi crocodiles or sea carn or sea predators. I think the one episode it looked like we spotted one out in the distance in the water, but I'm also not going to risk our trophies and go out today for them. I don't think. So the only things I'd really be looking for on this hunt now would be another Majunga Tholus and the Laylaps. It does make me wonder if I should also head back to the woods of Taran Shocks, or I should just pass along and keep going on like how I've been planning things. Although, I... Actually, there's an idea that I wonder if it might be like possible, is that Depending on, like, how... I was going to think, like, depending on how many maps you go down, that's how many, and like, native endemic animals you'll find to them. Like, Taranchox is your first map and only has the Ornithomimus. Basmashi Rocks has the Laylaps and Jungathals for two as your second map. Your third map would have three species. But I think that probably is more spots than the trophy room actually has to display. And again, I haven't gone looking up to see how many uh, endemic species are on each of the maps, just because I don't want to spoil anything. But maybe what I'll see if you guys can actually do is, even if you can just comment on the number of, like, specific map... Oh, it's just... Oh, okay, I'm ending the hunt here. I am glad I got us out of there when I did, because... It's still one of the things I really am not sure if I like is having the Rexes as, like, a uh, possible spawn. It is always something that feels like with how much of a challenge they are, and with that very specific mortal zone that you... It's either very good aim or pure luck to get down. 
I don't know if it's something that should be possible on every map, but you know what? Maybe what I'll do... We'll just have Lost Raptor selected, try for a couple... A little tiny hunt, see what we get, and then we'll check everything out we've gotten into the trophy room today. But let's try one more hunt. Hopefully without a surprise Rex in it, because, yeah, as soon as I saw that, it was... Nope, we're out of here. We're trying to get out of here before we're dead. Okay, we're loaded in again. It's actually a new spawn. I don't think I've spawned here before. Yes, this is the very southeastern beach. Uh, the only thing we're looking out for are... Velociraptors to try to get the diorama filled up a bit better for them. As well as another Laylaps or Majungatholus. Now, whether we'll get lucky with spotting or finding them at all remains to be seen, but we'll still give it a try. And again, I do not like the shotgun not actually feeling like a shotgun. Especially with a pack of three. But we'll head to the trophy room for today. Okay, here we are in the trophy room, and yeah, with the Velociraptors being pack animals, it does feel like a legacy has a missing aspect of its weapon roster. Something that is good for packs coming in and being able to get them down, I won't say relatively easily, but something that does feel more like a proper self-defense weapon. Like, the pistol I always feel is, like is too weak and you need to get a very accurate shot, and when you're like kind of panic mode of having so much coming at you at once, I don't feel like that fits that role. The revolver possibly could as long as the, sh as the shots are impactful enough, but I'm not sure how many revolver rounds it actually takes to put down the raptors. And again, the shotgun, I do feel like it feels more like a rifle than a shotgun because of how it's sticking to the single projectile it uses. But let's just go around and see what new additions we've got. Because, yeah, we've started to fill up these dioramas pretty nicely. And the trikes is all done. The Velociraptors is lacking a couple. But those will probably come with a bit of time. I do wonder if maybe they spawn in packs of two to three, given there are three slots in the diorama here, two for them. Oh, but the Dilophosaurus is having a nice little addition here with that second one. See, if we only had gotten this one here it would feel like you need the other pair to kind of complete this set and get a full picture of what's going on. It's the same with the Laylaps we've got over there. And then these two, yeah, they're basically just fine. You could get a single one and it would still look pretty good all on its own there. And the Iguanodons have pretty nice textures to them as well. One thing that's really nice about the mod and the like new dinosaurs or kind of new roster added to it is that the textures both feel fitting for carnivores, but it's also that they're not like really old feeling or kind of like blurry and messy to look at. Like they've got that carnivores aesthetic to them that's still crisp. Crisp at the right distance, but you're wanting to see them, but even getting up close, it's not as bad either of like how much you see. And certain details like say the fingertips, the thumbs, the eyes, all of those can have some pretty and a nice detailing and sharpness to them. And yeah, again, the Laylaps, we've got to get the second one to make that a bit more of a complete set. And then here's the new surprise one that we found today, the Majunga Tholus. I'm actually kind of surprised at his size. I'm not sure if I just got like a really tiny one or this is kind of like what their average is, but I kind of like it for a size for carnivores. A little bit chunky and stocky, but he has the right size to him. So yeah, there's still a... Uh, looks like one other one that we should try getting to match him up. We got the other Laylaps. I think those two might be the only ones that are, like, specifically native to Basmachi. Because the Trachodon, I guess, could be on any of the maps. It's just like a bonus endemic or bonus trophy ambient. But we are at least slowly starting to fill up the trophy room with a number of deaths to go along with it, too. And then there's our lone little gal Ornithomimus out there. If we have time during one episode, maybe I will go back and see if I can just do, like, a quick run and get, like, a second... Actually, let me check how many slots that spot has. It might only have two, but 
And I'd like to get full displays if I can to show everything off. So let's get our way up here and take a look. Yeah, so it'd only be one other one of these. And it is Ornithomimus, right? Yeah. Yeah, so maybe if I have time, one episode, we'll go back and try to get the second to fill that out full. But for now, we still have to get a couple of uh, the trophy endemics. I won't worry about having the Dilophosaurus or Guandon selected anymore, because we've got those filled up. I'm The Rexes is probably going to have to be like its own specified hunt only for them, because of how much of a challenge they'll be. And yeah, I think that brings us to a nice close for today. So you know what? I'll give ourselves a little outro once we're looking at this guy, because... I don't know, I just really have a nice spot for uh, this Majunga Tholus. The model's good, the texture looks great, and I like the size and, like, chunkiness to his build. He was a nice little surprise to get. But, thank you all very much for joining me on this episode of Carnivore's Legacy. If you did enjoy the video, you should give it a like, and if you have any comments, tips, or tricks, you should leave in the comments right down below. And until I see you all in the next video or episode, survivors, please remember, as always, to take care and stay alive.